Geography as a whole is interested in questions of where and the idea that where matters. So if you're thinking about economic systems or environmental systems or social systems, the, the location of, of people and things and events matters. The degree that we have in GIS is training students to collect, manage, analyze, and visualize geographic data. So the most common way to think of that is making a map in a computer. In the GIS concentration, students learn primarily about the computational tools and methodologies that we use to deal with geographic information. This could be a desktop software, it might be software in the cloud, it might be a part of an app you would have on your phone. Back in 1978, um, I, I know nothing about GIS, so I, it, I was exposed to that and it's a very challenging, you know, it's really very innovative, very, it's an emergent area, so I learn a lot and I end up using that in my career path. I think that a lot of people don't understand two really important things. One is that UB has this huge GIS program here at the university. Um, and the second thing is how broad GIS can be used throughout industries, whether it's government, aerospace, NASA has GIS. For me, the exciting pieces are wildfire management, disaster response, enabling the people that are responding to be safer. I started in CAD, I wasn't in engineering, I was in math, and I was kind of bored up until I found something where I could use everything. So GIS uses coding, which is right up my alley. It uses a lot of math, um, you have to have an artistic side. I really like that with GIS, you can change a person's perspective on the world. You can show them a map and you can change the way that they think about something. In my research, I am interested in the ecological impacts of global environmental change. And so I look at how variability in climate, so things like temperature, rainfall, how that affects uh, ecological systems. And so I'm using a combination of, of satellite remote sensing, so images collected from space, uh, and much higher resolution data using unmanned aerial vehicles, known as drones, uh, to actually monitor uh, how forest ecosystems are changing through time to try to understand what are the factors that influence the timing of those events. I am a health geographer. It's important to study diseases internationally because we've seen recently, whether it's the Ebola outbreak in West Africa or the recent Zika pandemic, these diseases that are thought to be very local problems and other people's problems can quickly become a, a global problem. Right now I'm using API Twitter Harvested Data on hate speech from 2011 and 2013. And I'm going to plot them on a map um, using their geotag coordinates, latitude and longitude. And I'm going to compare that with the SPLC, that's the Southern Poverty Law Center. They have already created a hate map showing like physically where these hate groups exist in the United States. And I'm going to see how the advancements in Twitter have changed the geography of hate speech. So the employment possibilities for a, a degree in GIS are really wide and I think growing, growing through time. And that's because of the, the growing ubiquity of GIS really in all fields. I mean, if you just think of how often you interact with some kind of map. So it's, it's a wonderful field in that it can touch so many other industries with this really cool technology to use, but we don't just get stuck uh, in one role. We get to touch all of these other things by doing GIS and kind of make a difference with, with our communities. 